Hello and welcome to a very exciting update regarding M1 for developers. If you haven't seen my previous video on that topic, be sure to check out that link right up there where I go over a bunch of different tools and their state when Apple Silicon just released. This is just a quick update to talk about virtualization. Um, so if you see here in my top left corner of my screen, I am running Docker Desktop. So there is now a public preview build out, uh, preview build number seven for M1, which I will leave a link to down below. I was checking out the previous sort of pre-release builds that were only for the people in the developer insider program. Uh, so I was working with pre-release number five there and was ready to put out a video about two days ago, but then they hit us with this public release. So I thought I would go ahead and update with that. And as you see here, it's just running. Uh, so right here, I have the output from a Docker Compose app that I'm running, which is a project that I'm working on. And if we flip over to it here, it's a web-based project and you'll see that it simply works. Um, and so this is running on three different node apps plus a Postgres instance and a Redis instance, and everything is working completely flawlessly, uh, which I'm incredibly impressed with. I didn't even have to change my uh, like Docker files pretty much at all. Uh, I just switched them away from running the Alpine build of Node uh, to running the full build of Node, because for one of them, it had to fetch Argon2 for some of my hashing stuff, and for some reason, it needed Python to be able to do that. So I switched that away from Alpine and everything is completely working. No changes uh, right out of the box, which is incredibly impressive. I expect you will have to do some tinkering to some extent, uh, but this version of Docker Desktop makes it super easy to do multi-platform releases. So you can have the same project working for both ARM-based CPUs and x86-based CPUs with slightly different steps. And it just works, which is incredibly impressive and incredibly promising for development on the M1 platform. Uh, so currently this Docker desktop thing is kind of bodged together between things that are running natively and things that are running through Rosetta. Um, so if you are going ahead and working with that sort of stuff, you can just know that, but really it doesn't matter because it does just work. Uh, there is one exception though, and that is Kubernetes through Docker Desktop does not work yet because of how Docker is having some issues with their internal IP service. But there is also some good news on that end as well, and that is that Minikube is kind of working. Um, so if you are to go ahead and try to run Minikube, uh, I'll link this issue in the description down below as well. Uh, it's not perfect yet. It's not packaged for M1 Max just yet, uh, but there are some things that are working. Uh, and that is just if you use either no driver or using QEMU works in some cases apparently, um, but it has some issues. And, or you could just SSH into a bare VM. Uh, and since there's a lot of movement on the virtualization side with Parallels putting out a pre-release and I think VirtualBox is still hard at work on stuff like that, uh, there is definitely some movement and it looks like you can even be running Kubernetes things locally quite soon. Um, I still see no reason to run Kubernetes things locally in most instances. I would much rather have a remote dev machine that I'm pushing to, uh, but that is really cool that you are able to do that if you so desire. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Virtualization is working to a pretty good extent. Uh, you can check out the preview builds, which I will link down below if you want to go ahead and check those out. And I will see you uh, next time if I have any more updates to give you on this. In the meantime, check out my other videos. I've been doing Advent of Code recently. We're on day 18 uh, as I record this video and things have been pretty fun over there. So you can check that out if you're interested in programming. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.